Would you like a cold drink? No. I'm fine, thanks. Um, I like to keep the door open. It helps with the air circulation. This isn't going to be easy for either of us. We never had problems with the air circulating before, did we? I don't even know why I said that. I'm sorry. Um, well, you know, we won't have to be together for too long. It's just sort of a temporary thing. Mm. Sean and Anna and Robert, they're, they're going to figure this out with all that information that you gave them. And, and I'm sure that they'll get down and before too long, and then this whole nightmare will be completely over. Depends on which nightmare you're referring to, doesn't it? Hello. It's Tony. Hey, listen, can I speak to my brother, please? Now, how do you know that he would be here? Come on, please. It's okay. Robert told me the whole story. Tony. Tony? I don't want him getting involved in this. He knows. Robert told him. Hi. Well, it's either this or going back into a cell, and I... I didn't think that was the right choice. She doesn't like it any more than you do. She's offered to take me in to help me. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that Colton gets this message as soon as he checks back into the hospital. Yes, it's very important. Just to have him call me as soon as he gets there, before he comes home. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh, I, I can do that for you. I think that maybe things will feel better in the morning. Maybe. Remember, don't answer the phone. I won't. So when do you plan on getting up? I don't know. Um, but you, uh, you know, you don't... You don't have to worry about waking me up in the morning. Do you say so? Yeah. Good night. You're making your famous scrambled eggs. That's right. Remember how I used to make these a long time ago? They were your favorite. Yeah, well, things aren't the way they used to be. I told you that. I'm getting dressed. I have to go out. Don't go in there. That's right. Remember? You promised to keep me hidden. So in short, for better or for worse, we're stuck. I'm letting you stay here so that you don't have to hide in jail and continue with the charades. Let's just stick with the rules. I don't remember making any rules. Well, they're implied. They're implied. Now, look at the eggs. Now they're hard. I can't eat these eggs like that. They're terrible this Don't worry this way. about it. Well, I happen to be hungry. Do you mind? I well, mean, I don't need regular... have some toast with me. I'm going to have some toast. 
Who made the coffee to you? I don't know. I just... Well, I should be ready very shortly because I'm very familiar with this spot. Remember this one? This was ours when I used to be your husband. I'm going to bathe and get dressed. Don't lock the door. Domino? Yes. Uh, what is it? I want you to listen to this, see if you recognize the voice. Well, who's on it? Oh, listen to it. Yes. So Margaret and I grew up together, knowing that we would spend our lives as one. That's it. That's Domino's partner. I thought it would be. Are you sure? I'm positive. Who is it? Claudia Maldonado. Well, that's the nice man that Catherine knows from South America? Yeah. He was nice. It's a shame Robin liked him so well. Anyway, I'll go and speak to Robin and Sean about this. Well, you let me know what comes down. You keep me posted. Yeah. Now, if there's any action, I want to know about it, and I want in on it. Well, we have to be careful. Careful about what? There isn't going to be any action if Domino doesn't think you're in jail. You understand? I understand, but I don't like it. You just take care. You stay here. Don't answer the phone. Stay here. Oh, yeah. I'm getting to be a real pro at this hiding business. to remind you that uh, to have um, Colton call me as soon as he gets in. Yeah, it's very important that he calls me at home before he, he comes back home. Yeah. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. Yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, everything's fine. No, I don't know. It may be a few days. Yeah, she's fine. Well, hang on. Are you okay? I'm okay. She's okay. Well, now the trouble is, it's not staying here. It's just all the damn memories, especially the live ones. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll, I'll get over to you as soon as uh, this is all taken care of. All right. All right, you take care. <clears throat> Tony sends his best. Do you feel that uncomfortable here with me? Just don't like it when you talk about the memories. Listen, if you don't want to stick around, don't stick around. I'll be fine here by myself. No, I have to stay here. I have to answer the phone. You can't answer the phone. No, I can't. It's so hot in here. Would you check the setting on the air conditioning, please? When you put it that way. I thought I had it at 72. It feels like it's about 90. No, it can't be. It's what it is. Oh, great. Every year in the brownstone, the air conditioning goes out every single year. Yeah, I remember. Remember how we used to cool off by taking a bath together? Hmm? I'm sorry. I can't forget these things. I'm just going to go downstairs and make sure that all the air conditioning around is on the 